Hi friends, uh, welcome to All on Allah. Today the topic of discussion is uh, causes of purpura in uh, pediatric patients. Uh, you should know the causes uh, because uh, this is one of the important uh, that, that will help you to, differenti to differentiate it from other diseases. So if you know very well the causes of purpura in a children, uh, definitely it will help you for your board examination. So before uh, starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel that is uh, All On and Law. And uh, you can tell your friends uh, about our channel, we need your subscription. You might ask us, why should I subscribe? If you subscribe, just YouTube will notify you, it will send you an uh, email whenever we upload a new video on a medical topic. So that you can come and watch and if there's any update, you can tell us. Because it's uh, just like a working together. Right. Okay. Let me start with this. The plenty of causes here, but I will I will tell you the important causes. What you need to you should know. Okay. One, the infection, the, the vasculitis is very important. Remember about the vasculitis, the form of. Uh, okay. So vasculitis is very important. Polyarthritis nodosa, very important. Idiopathic thrombocytopenia purpura. Remember and thrombocytopenia due to these diseases. Viscott, Eldridge syndrome, aplastic anemia, leukemia, and DIC. Okay, so remember about this. And hemophilia, very important, you should remember. Uh, recently, we uploaded a video on a hemophilia A and a hemophilia B. So just go and type hemophilia A by MRC PCH team, definitely you get it. And a B. Okay, one will brand factor deficiency. Okay, these are the important meningococcemia is a very important. Okay, there's an infection. You just you can remember in general infection can cause a uh, purpura in a ch children. Um, the other causes like uh, um, these are not important. Endocarditis. You can remember endocarditis. Most of us know that it will cause for a uh, purpura in a children. Okay, so gonococci infection, then uh, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, uh, epidemic typhus. Okay. Hepatitis B, you can remember if you want, otherwise no problem. Dengue hemorrhagic fever is a very important topic and is a very important cause for purpura in a, uh, children. And this is very deadly and you need to diagnose it correctly and you need to treat very fast. Uh, it's a very fatal disease. Okay. Um, okay, the, here is a, a good table for you. Um, the important thing what you need to remember, what you need to know from this table is... Uh, Hinashal in purpura is a very important cause. Okay, Hinashal in purpura is a very important cause for this. Ella Danlos syndrome, that's very important, you should roll. Okay, the infections, uh, then thrombocytopenias, uh, then uh, clotting disorders like hemophilia A and a B, okay, and uh, Hinashal in purpura, um, then uh, vomiting, that could be a cause for this, and trauma. The other drugs you can remember the important thing what you need to remember the drug causing uh, purpura in the children is a steroids these are very important rest you can memorize it for your examination if you want otherwise it's okay remember about the arsenic poisoning also okay this is not very common nowadays but you can remember one of the cause for purpura in the children okay let's go to this table once again and thank you so much for watching my video see you soon in the next video with me on all on unlock